All right, what's up guys? So I finally uh, got back on this channel making videos. I uh, learned a lot more about making like soil samples and stuff. So I'm gonna have a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. And I also wanted to let you guys know that I dropped my first sample pack. It's called Limitless. It'll be down in the description below. Um, it's got like 30 soulful samples, uh, all stuff that I would use on my channel. Today, we're just gonna make a Drake type beat from scratch. I'm gonna show you guys how I make the sample and everything. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I usually do when um, I'm starting a sample is I'll start with the piano and uh, work out some chords and like find some cool voicings and maybe find a melody within the chords. And so these were some chords I just uh, worked on real quick. They kind of have like that like soulful like R&B kind of Drake type feel. So the way I'll do it is I'll record it into um, the software and then I'll like kind of get a basic idea and just play it in like actually play it so it has a human feel and then I'll go in and I'll make it like a little more like um, I guess I'll just like add some like uh, just some variations to it give it some like movement give it like some rhythm so yeah I'll record that in real quick Now that I got uh, those chords recorded, I went in and I kind of edited it in the MIDI and created this little like progression. Um, I used like <clears throat> a lot of this stuff with like um, like these gospel sounding like Drake chord progressions. They're gonna have like a lot of like melody within the chords um, and like a lot of like gospel style like walk ups and walk downs. If you Google like gospel piano walk up, you'll kind of or uh, YouTube you'll find like tutorials and stuff like that. Uh, I wish I could record this whole process, but it just takes so long and there would just be way too much uh, footage to edit. So uh, yeah, so I took those chords and I turned it into this. And so now, uh, next I think I'm gonna add a string melody on top. So for my strings, I do them like a real string section to make them realistic. And by that, I mean, I kind of record like each individual layer of a string section. Like I'll take uh, the first violin, I'll play it, and then I'll play another violin playing the same melody. But when you play it like that, like different, like you don't play them perfectly and they don't hit at the same time and that makes it sound realistic. Um, so I'll do like, I think I'm for the strings, I'm just gonna come up with a top line melody Kind of maybe follow the rhythm I came up with, uh, or the melody that I came up with in the keys a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna probably take one violin, I'll probably layer another violin, and then I'll put a viola underneath. That's what I'm thinking as of right now. Okay, and when I play that, like that's obviously not like the best playing in the world, but um, I'll just go in in MIDI and I'll take the grid off and I'll edit it all. And um, yeah, I'll make it sound uh, realistic, but still like on time. Okay, so now I got like the whole string section and I'll just show you guys that real quick. Uh, so just two violins and a viola. Um, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, like. So you can see that uh, like all the notes aren't lined up perfect. So it's like a real string section because that's how it works. I threw a bass line and then here's the keys, everything all together. Okay, so uh, next thing I'm gonna add for like a Drake type sample is uh, I'm gonna add a uh, organ here. I think that kind of makes it sound like a little more like churchy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna record that in. Uh, right, right. Yep. OK, 
Okay, so that was like obviously not the best recording um, again, but uh, that gives me like enough notes to play around with and kind of line them in, kind of like line them up, right? Okay, so now at this point in the sample, I pretty much got like an idea laid out uh, that I think is ready to flip. Um, I, add, I found this vocal from Splice and um, I was just browsing. I think I put the R&B tag for vocals and uh, I found this one. Then I added like the typical chimes that are also from Splice. And uh, so this is what the sample sounds like. Okay, so um, I finished uh, the sample, I added one piece. Uh, I added a part with the bass line over here and without a bass line over here. Um, but this is what it sounds like. Actually, you guys have heard that. So this is the new part. And uh, yeah, so that's a plugin um, called East West Vocals. And uh, it's just like a fake choir. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for the sample. Now it's definitely time to flip it. The recording software is kind of messing up a little. So I wasn't able to make the beat and record at the same time. So I ended up making the beat. I'm just gonna show you guys the final flip and what it, what it looks like. So I'm gonna play it and uh, yeah, this is it. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna have these videos coming a couple times a week. If you liked the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll be coming with these regularly now. So hope you guys enjoyed this.